AI artificial intelligence artificial intelligence AI mark my words AI is far more dangerous than this artificial intelligence two words which is there on everyone's mind and probably the reason why you are even watching this video some are unaware of it some are making tons of money from it whereas us designers we are scared of it well the question here is why are we really scared of artificial intelligence is it because it can do our job in a much quicker and efficient way yeah that's true to an extent but the thing it cannot do is match the creativity and originality of us designers honestly i think we have all gotten it wrong we should not see ai as a competition in fact we should be aware learn and adapt to the new wave of ai when the printing press was invented people who did not adapt to it might have their jobs taken away by machines but those who learned the new ways moved forward with the new and better jobs graphic designers think of ai as your new creative partner it can help you generate ideas suggest color palettes and even help you suggest brand elements based on your client preferences the key is to understand that ai is just a tool but a very smart tool to amplify your design process and is not at all a threat to your unique touch and for that today i'll be showing you how you can use ai seamlessly for your branding project we will be using super machine as our ai tool it is a very powerful accurate ai art generator kid you not when i saw its potential it literally blew my mind we will be using this ai to not only to save time but also generate really high quality images which you won't probably find online so without wasting any more time let's just jump right into it all right so i'm gonna be opening super machine and we are gonna check out its capabilities uh basically let's say you have a branding project and i would just randomly take let's say we are creating um uh, entire brand identity for a coffee uh, brand and that coffee brand is um like the owner of that coffee brand really likes astronaut and maybe the name is astro coffee and we are creating an entire brand identity the logo design part and everything is created which we obviously have to create and for the branding project and for the um the look and feel of the brand we are going to be using this so powerful ai tool called super machine which is by app sumo and yeah let's check it out so we'll be going to the super machine dot art website and as you can see i've already logged in uh so my credentials are already there and this is how the entire tool looks like this is super machine right here and as you can already see on uh, the dashboard we have all these pre-generated uh, designs and it just shows the capabilities and the possibilities you have like some looks like a sketch some look like a very very super high quality images and some just um you know look like uh like actual images so yeah here we have our generate tab where we put our prompt and your uh i mean this is something which i really like about this there are so many different styles you can choose from literally from drawing to like a proper camera or if you want like a cgi anime style anything you can literally even cyberpunk you can do and for your characters you can choose any one which they have right your default or you can just for random you can choose like male female and stuff like that and then obviously we have our advanced settings where we want a specific size of an image when we're creating brand presentation we need to always make sure that our artboard size is 920 by 180 so you can put that specifications right here and also they have very specific prompt guidance where you can choose the creativity level how creative you want it to be and how quick you want your prompt to be generated so i mean for now we will be hiding the advanced settings i just wanted to give a glimpse of the possibilities this tool has all right so we have a brand it's a coffee brand and and the name is astro coffee so we want to show many space elements and stuff like that so we're going to put a simple prompt coffee cup in space and you know th this can be used for our brand asset we are going to go with something like cgi we're going to go um also with something like um let's see what about camera oh we can also go with like a studio lighting so and also uh, we'll be going with something cinematic so this is a prompt coffee cup in space cgi studio lighting and cinematic and i mean let's click on generate to see how so when you click on generate it goes down to and it loads this one single um final result which it gives you and okay wow okay wow this this is cool guys have a look at this so it's 
it's in space it's like on a space shuttle and your coffee is brewing so you can use this like literally in your brand website you can have like a space vibe going on for your website and it gives you all your aspect ratios and everything and you can share the link you can upscale it um you know you can download it however you want to and use it for your brand let's let's give it another shot so this time we'll be choosing coffee bean coffee bean with okay so what if we have a coffee cup um ho being held by an astronaut coffee cup in astronauts and in space okay and for this one we're gonna going for something different which is we're gonna go for something cyberpunk so we click on cyberpunk and cgi rendering we can do a 3d render i mean let's just go for it why not and we click on generate i mean bro this is so much fun like you can literally generate any sort of image with any prompt you give them and there's so many different styles to choose from and we'll be just waiting for this prompt to be generated bro this is so cool so this is like a pov of you drinking coffee in space and this is literally like an astronaut's hand where you see the earth behind you can have your logo in the middle so let's say astro coffee has their brand logo or an emblem and they can have it literally here in the middle and they can lower the opacity so it's gonna look super sexy and i i'm gonna download this i actually love this image how super detailed this is so it's downloading let's have a close-up look at the image bro this is incredible this is too good and this is just like one way you can go super detailed with your prompt and um let's just say uh, we have to create a brand mood board okay so for the brand mood board we'll be requiring a bunch of images and um, i usually have these square type of images for my brand mood board and now we're going to quickly create a brand mood board for our brand astro coffee and for this one, I'm going to type 1080. And here we're going to type. I literally made this up in like two minutes. Astro Coffee. Got it. So, yeah. So, I'm actually going to use that image which we just downloaded. We are going to be using this. Wow. This looks unreal. And like, imagine you created this image. You generated it within like a few clicks of words and a few um you know selections so the way i like to have my brand mood board is having these three blocks which is three into three into three which is like around nine blocks and we are going to be doing exactly the same cool but wait i need to increase the size a bit Yeah, and we're going to duplicate this here and then again down there. Cool. So this is how I usually create my brand mood boards. And obviously we have our this image right here. We can even have this in the middle um, unless we find a better image. Uh, because usually, obviously, as, as I said, we're going to have the logo in the middle. And usually I make sure that the brand's mood board has the logo in the center because it's always nice to first get the logo and then we see all the brand assets. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we need a few more images of uh, stars and planets planets so i have an idea where um stars and planets with coffee beans so we have our coffee but obviously the coffee is made from the coffee beans and that is what we're gonna be trying to use and for this one we're gonna be you know let's let's just explore we are not gonna use cyberpunk but we will use something Wow, there is literally a um, style of different, different. Oh, wow, we're going to use Andy Warhol. He's one of my favorite artists. Banksy, there was there. And for the colors, we're going to be using, I don't know, colorful. You know, let's give it a shot. Let's click on generate. This is so much fun. Like, I'm going to really use this for each and every brand presentation of mine. And here is generating. You can also see your previous renders right here. And oh, wow. 
this is interesting so what it has done is it, it's it's like the sun is in the middle all the planets and stars are right there and um, there is coffee beans it's funny it's interesting but i kind of like it it, it sets that tone of how the brand is going to be so i'm going to download it and we're actually going to use it so we'll go here we'll place it and we'll actually use this we can in fact like not use the entire and we just use this part of it so that is what we're gonna do control seven yeah that's one way or wait we can have it like this as well yeah is this better i don't know i'm liking the middle part a lot like this part you know, it's very interesting i'd say leave it there but wait i'm not liking the blue yeah this is a good color palette like this is something i'm going for yeah let's leave it there we'll actually use this for this image because it's towards the right and we want it that way cool so that is one more image let's quickly generate one two three four five six one two three four five six seven seven more images and um i just wish y'all could give me ideas for this so you know we could have more fun with that okay so now we'll be generating um, jupiter in a coffee cup shape okay let's see how this goes and oh i guess um it was andy warhol style that's why it gave us um that kind of a color yeah cool we are gonna go for an aerial view with beautiful lighting let's see how this goes oh i i can kind of see it can you see a jupiter inside yeah that's very interesting that's a very interesting take uh but i'm not gonna use this one let's go for like like a real life model okay so model holding a coffee mug coffee mug and here we can actually go for characters so let's say you want like a young adult because that is what you're trying to target to so you can choose like a model like uh i don't know this this girl right here and then for the style you can go for something like like a portrait yeah there was a portrait right here portrait photo shoot kind of a thing and then you click on generate and let's see how the model figure comes because um like selecting different kinds of model on their based on the age group is a, is a is a plus point for the brand because they can set the tone of what kind of target audience they are trying to reach so this is generating and okay fair enough um the it, we or we selected like a photo shoot of it and gave exactly that so we'll be using this as well quickly download it and we'll be going to illustrator and using this in our brand mood board this is super super high quality as well oh yeah so we'll be using this right here we can actually not use uh, the entire image and we can like crop a section of it or uh, for you know kind of drinking coffee okay it's starting to come to life starting to come together but we need more and more images cool so what else can we generate we can let's let's have some inspiration right here we can okay we can have the coffee uh coffee packet obviously i haven't created the packaging um of it but like when you don't because you can use your up image is and you can upload your images here as well coffee packet in space coffee packet in space and for the style we're gonna be using hd for the wish for the drawing style let's say we use something like no this is okay let's say we use a doodle why not let's just go for it 
I mean, can you all see how incredible this tool is and for how many places this can be used? I mean, this is just creating a brand mood board. Let's say you want to create an entire identity of a brand or you can use this in presentations, in client presentations. Let's say a client has like a candy brand, which is um you know has a mascot of unicorn you can literally like literally use that and generate images which is not even there in your client deliverables but you can have that as an add-on just to show on how the look and feel of the brand should be so i'm not quite happy with this obviously because the packaging is like they uh, they literally created a packaging but um this is not what i'm looking for uh, and actually that was a very bad prompt from my end because obviously like they had to create a packaging so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use more of space elements so um, we're gonna put alien on mars drinking coffee <laughs> let's go for it and for the style guide we're gonna be using Oh, Baroque style art. So if you all don't know Baroque, uh, means very ancient history. It's a uh, kind of an art style and we'll be using aerial view. Let's click on generate. I really need to experiment each and every style. I mean, they have given so many options. I guess there's a prompt book as well, um, you know, where you can just understand what kind of prompts you can generate. You can generate these flat vectors. These are very good for presentations because sometimes in presentations, a very high quality images, uh, you know, doesn't really work that well. So that's one way. Then these are different, different styles of prompts. Let's have a look at bro. <laughs> oh my God, this is incredible. Like dude. Wait, where did it go? Yeah. This is amazing. This is some crazy stuff. If I only would have, would have selected a high quality image, it could have been a high quality, but this is so good. Okay, let's quickly add this to our brand mood board. I mean, even the color palette really matches with what we're trying to go with. Let's take this back and let's clip mask it. Actually, this is so funny, but I actually love it. So I really like the entire image. So I'm going to use the entire image. So it just shows that it's it's on a planet. And and for some, you know what you can do? Uh, you don't need to add the entire, uh, all the images on your mood board. You can literally do something like this. So your, you will add like, like a nice blue. This one, you will add like you need a color from your and for the last one you can take a color like a green like a sage green color from your so this becomes your brand color palette so all your imagery is your your this is your and also one thing i missed in your brand mood board you need to have a uh, typography as well so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add some typography obviously this is something which i'm just creating so don't judge me on that we're gonna go with something like this so obviously the leading needs to be proper cool so one uh thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this turn it into blue and astro coffee we can keep it like this or we can control c control v and we can have this inside and this one we can expand it like literally anyhow i like how the s is looking you know um if i were to make a logo for this like i i really know what i'm gonna do like we can have something as simple like that you know even that could work and um if you want we can actually change the color of this to something like brownish not sure how this will, no that was looking better cool and then this one we can have this color so make sure you include every single color from your palette just to tie up all together so see like that quickly we created a brand mood board these are all the images which we have literally generated we haven't taken it from the internet it's literally all from scratch by our prompts we have to obviously be good at 
prompts and be very specific to what we want and even the, all the different styles as well but literally created this in like five minutes and um, the client might like it and this can be your uh, visual direction where you can take your brand to and obviously there are other ways where you can use uh, let's say this is the image you're using let's say this is the image you're using for your brand you can literally scale this up and you can have this let's say this is your logo and you can have this like okay this looks like an album cover but uh, let's just imagine our logo is right here astro coffee and maybe this is not yeah it's it's something like this we can have it in the center and this can be a start of your presentation or just it can be as posters in like maybe you'll have a cafe or something like that or your instagram post so i mean obviously the possibilities are endless with this super crazy ai art generator i'm gonna be after this video i'm gonna be really exploring so many more possibilities this has and i'm gonna actually be using it in all my client works like i'm gonna tell my team as well to use this get the subscription and start using that incredible tool so designers that was it it was just a glimpse to show you how powerful this tool super machine by app sumo is and i'll put all the links down in the description for you to check it out and to start creating amazing stuff and in conclusion graphic designers ai is not your to take your job or to take uh, over whatever you're doing it's your to enhance your life it's literally your to make your creative process much easier and literally in a better way so stop blaming ai or you know stop telling that it's going to take up your job use it to beat other designers who are not using ai that's all i would say also right now you can get this tool super machine on AppSumo for life. Plus, you can get a 10% discount on all tools on their Black Friday sale. So head to the link in my bio to check out what AppSumo is offering. And thank you so much for watching. As always, stay creative.